Have you noticed that since your water softener was installed, your skin feels slippery, even slimy at times? Have you noticed that uh, when you get into the shower, it seems that the floor is quite slippery? Have you noticed that when you're washing dishes by hand, the plates almost slide out of your hands? Well, I've had a number of uh, customers ask me about that, and I'm gonna explain how to troubleshoot that and fix it right now. Hi, I'm Gary the Water Guy, and I simplify water filtration to help you conquer crappy water for your family. So this phenomenon has been mentioned to me a few times, and it always seems to boil down to a couple of things. First of all, after you get a water softener, you need to use half the soap that you used before you had the water softener. That's one of the big advantages of having a water softener, is the money you save by using half the soap. Because it takes a lot less soap, for because the water is so much more efficient, it doesn't have all that hardness and uh, soap scum that it has to overcome to be able to, to actually give you much better cleaning action. So you make sure, make sure you cut down the, um, like I say, the soap usage, start at half, and if you find that it's still a little bit slippery, cut it down a little bit more. The next thing that seems to be is the settings, the settings of the water softener. Modern water softeners are very efficient and they need to be set properly. The only way they can be set properly is by knowing your water's hardness. Pretty much every water softener is delivered from the factory with default settings, usually a hardness setting of 20 or 25 or something like that. A lot of folks have water that's not that hard. So if you're, if whomever's installing your water softener, if they don't test the water and find out exactly how hard your water is, how much iron you have in your water and set the water correctly, maybe you only have a hardness of 10 and it's being set at the factory default of 25, it's gonna be using a lot more salt and a lot more water to give you softened water, but that, that residual sodium in the water is gonna cause that slipperiness. Now, as part of the, the process of troubleshooting this concern, let's say you've gone through the first process, you've reduced the amount of uh, soap that you're using in your water, you're still finding it slippery, and you've checked the water softener settings, you've had the raw water tested by a water filtration specialist, or sent a sample to us that we can uh, test it for you, and your settings are correct in the water softener, but you're still finding it a little bit slippery, well, what you can do is you can actually introduce some untreated water into the treated water to mix the water to make the water a little bit less soft, if you like. And uh, some folks prefer that. So um, it, most water softeners, you can't do that with the valving on the water softeners. You'd actually have to build a three-way bypass around the uh, water softener and then introduce a little bit of untreated water by leaving the bypass a little bit open. If you have an Aquamaster or Water Boss water softener, you can pop the top off and you can get to the bypass valve here. So when it's pointed all the way here, it's in service. When it's all the way over here, it's in bypass. But it's actually a graduated bypass. So you can actually back it off to something like this and that'll make the water a little bit less soft. And, uh, and that may be exactly what you're looking for. Now, it's not an exact science. You may have to experiment with it a little bit, uh, turn it to one position, try it for a week or two, and then if it, you need it a little bit more soft, then you can move it back toward the service, or a little bit less soft, you can move it back toward bypass, and then try it again. I'll put a link in the uh, description down below to uh, one of, another one of my YouTube videos that talks about the three-way bypass and uh, it'll show you how to build it in case that's something you want to pursue. And uh, click up here, it'll take you right to my next video on water softeners and I'll see you there.